Okay, the next set of uh, commands we're going to demonstrate are marking time, halt, and turning. Detail to the ready. Detail, attend, hut, hut. dress, center, dress. Mark, time, hut. Ready, halt. The mark time command is important. It establishes the pulse and allows the student to start developing a sense of pulse, not just internally, but externally as well. Mark, time, hut. Ready, halt. Notice what happens to the feet. We're in first position to start, and then he gets, we get the mark time command, and on the first two counts, the feet go parallel. Coming out of the mark time into a halt, the last two counts, the feet return to first position. Mark, time, hut. Ready, halt, one, two. Let's see that one more time. Mark, time, hut. One, two. Ready, halt. One, two. We always initiate the move with the left foot. Let's see that one or two more times here. Notice also that the moves are separate. As the left foot comes down, the right foot remains stationary. After the left foot makes contact, on the and count, on the and count, the right heel comes up in order to be ready to go down on the following count. Mark, time, hut. One and two and one and two and left and right and left and right and left and right and left and and left and right and left and right and ready. Halt. One, two. Notice on the halt that the first foot to move to the halt position is the right foot because we end on the left foot. Mark, time, hut, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, 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 and. If you want to think about the knee popping out on the and count, that works too. One, and two, and three, and four, and ready, halt, one, Marking time is that simple. Notice what happens to the upper body remains motionless, which is important so that you can play like you're sitting in a chair in the band room, so that you can play your best. It's important to demonstrate this technique so that the music sounds as good as it possibly can. Moving to turns, a turn is a four count turn either to the right or the left that involves the entire body. Basically, it's a rotation adding the feet, and it looks like this. We'll start with a right turn and then go to a left, left turn. It's a four count command, followed by a four count response. Left turn, hut. Move, two, three, halt. Right turn, hut. Move, two, three, halt. Okay, now let's take a closer look at the feet as we do this because the feet all have to look the same. And this is what they should look like. Left, turn, hut. Move, two, three, four. On a left turn, notice what happens on count two. The feet are parallel at a 45. Let's do the left turn again, please. Left, turn, hut. One, two, three, four. On count three, the left foot is already into the final position because on count three, it's done moving. Watch that again, please. Left, turn, hut, move together. And on count four, the right foot moves to the final position. And on a right turn, the exact opposite happens. So let's take a look at that. Right, turn, hut, move, two, three, four. One more time. Right, 
turn. Hut. Notice what happens on count three and count four. The left foot finds its last position. You're basically preparing for being uh, two counts ahead. You're basically, oh, I screwed that up.